traffic Watch me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Stepmom series. And we are back in our Parker Ackerman household where our family is finally having their spooky day party. And it looks like Lucian is totally getting it. Look at that face. He's having so much fun. Um, well, as much fun as you can have while your dad carves pumpkins on the side. But it's still an amazing day. It looks like um, Leia is on the grill cooking grilled fruits just for her guests and so that her stepdaughter can actually eat it. Um, Malcolm is having a fun time carving. I believe he's carving a cat face into into that pumpkin even though I think he's like super concentrating like super duper hard. Um, I don't know how well that's going. Um, over here, the girls are just having a conversation. It looks like they're all getting along really well. I'm glad. I think they're kind of poking a little bit of fun at Diana because she's all dressed up just like the rest of her family. And she's just like, guys, come on. Like, I did it because of the kids. Like, my mom said that we needed to do it for the babies because they never had a spooky day before. And so that's why I'm doing it like this. But secretly, I think she really likes it. I think she really likes being able to wear that awesome witch costume. And, and no... Uh, Clayton, Clayton, why? Well, they look adorable in their little in their little critter outfits. But Clayton decided to get into the paint. I think he stole the paint from his mother's like like studio and just decided to get everything all over the floor. Which I think there no one everybody's too distracted to notice except for Cameron, who was invited because she technically is family, of course. Um, she has really bad lighting, actually, now that I look at her. Um, she's technically family, so she's allowed here. Uh, she doesn't look like she's having that fun of a time, but she does notice that the babies are, clean, are like going a little bit wild, but she's not doing anything about it. I think she's kind of being a little bit stingy, but we can't hold that against her. And I think the, yep, there he is. Greg, I'm pretty sure is his name. I'm pretty sure that's Greg. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, but it's Glenn. Glenn is in here playing Blick Walk because he wants absolutely nothing to do with Spooky Day. I have a feeling that he's probably, like, not a big fan of Spooky Day, which is why he's in there and not outside. Um, and I think Diana would notice that her little brother is going a little bit stir-crazy. I don't think she can do anything. But I think... Mm, Mal Malcolm would have to start car stop carving the pumpkin and come over here and scold. He's a lot more firm than um, Leia is about like with kids just because he's already had to. So he's he's perfectly fine with being like, don't do that. You're making a mess. Oh, he's, he's getting tips. He's getting tips from his mom. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, that's Vivi like, oh, thanks, mom. Like, thanks for the money that I should get for allowance. Like, it's like your mother paying you. It's like, you already give me money. What's the point? Um, because she does actually, like, help them out, helps them with allowances. Like, she's, she's, she's a good mom, but she's not around as much as she should be. Um, did he actually scold? Yeah, he did. But yay, look at Diana. So he's probably going to be super happy with her. Um, so parenting, encourage recent behavior, encourage cleaning up mess. So thank you very much. So he's over here starting it up with that DJ booth. I think he's having, he always has so much fun when they have parties. But look, Diana and um, Cameron are getting along, which is good. They've always been, like, they've always had such a good relationship anyway. Um, so Leia, where is Leia? Leia. They're the babies. Oh my god, the boys. The boys! Someone stop me. Be still my beating heart. Look at them. They're super cute. Oh my gosh. I think this is the first Let's Play where we actually played with toddlers. 
I'm pretty sure I don't actually I'm not sure I'm not sure at all really I think this is the I think this is the last way where we're supposed to play with toddlers but we never actually got a chance to but oh my gosh they're so cute oh gosh but Leia come call all these people to get food yeah he's always he always makes a good chunk of money um call to meal so call everyone over so these two are having a conversation. Diana definitely needs to hurry up and go back and like finish cleaning up, which is a thing. Finish cleaning up the mess. So Rain and her mother are actually having a conversation. Ooh, about furniture, maybe about what she's going to do when she moves out. That would be interesting. Um, Let's see, I don't think anybody else would be like over there. But everybody's just sitting around. Leyland, everybody come eat. Someone give everyone get some food. Um, let's grill something else. We don't have anything. Is there anything else to grill? Veggie burgers. There we go. So Diana is going to grill some veggie burgers for us. Everybody has pretty good needs so far. I'm not going to lie. I cheat needs in between in between episodes because in order to do those weird little like scenes or whatever at the beginning, it's just so much easier if I just if I just kind of like cheated just a tad, just a tad. Um grill, can we Come on, girly, you can do the veggie burgers. Get it. So yeah, the babies end up stealing stuff. Where is the other baby? There he is. He's in. He's sitting in his chair. <laughs> he's talking, He's asking about bears. Like, why couldn't I be a bear dad? Why couldn't I get that? That's not fair. Oh, they're so cute. Malcolm, why are you so good with kids? <laughs> it's a pirate holding a fox. I'm. Oh my gosh, my life. I'm super happy. Like, these guys look super cute. He's like, I love my dad. And he's just like, I'm such a good, uh, like, I think I'm a good dad. Even with his, like, weird patchy whiskers. Ugh. And everybody is doing well. Can she talk to him? Um, uh, no, they're too far away. So I think he would need to stop. Stop playing for a bit and go get some food. As your mom would say, she'd probably be telling him, like, you can stop the sets now. Everybody's inside. Go get food. And he'd be like, all right, fine. It's like, but I have, like, a whole nother set of jams I want to try on you guys. And she'd be like, whatever. Just get some food. So that you, so that your dad's not upset with me. And let's see. He, he wants some of the veggie burgers. So he's going to get those. So yeah, I think Leia's gotten a lot better at cooking vegetarian for Diana since they've been here. Oh, and then I think Rain is kind of done for the day. Um, everybody is, whoa, guys, whoa, come on, some class, please. Just a little bit, just come on. Do you have to make out in front of everyone, like in front of everyone, everyone? But everybody's leaving. But I think that was a good party. Why in the world does Cameron end up going jogging? Maybe she's going jogging to clear her mind. Like she knows that this is like a high stress environment for her. And so she has to go jogging every single time she comes anywhere near this place. So everybody can grab a treat on their way out. And yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm very happy with this. So there we go. These guys can sit around and talk. Um, he can't really invite her to stay the night because he doesn't actually have like a way to like mess around. I don't think so, but they can try and talk about it. Um, they still need to stay in for curfew. Let's see, check the babies. We need to make sure they're still okay. They're pretty independent kids to be honest. So like they'll ask for stuff. So like Diana's helping Clayton with his flashcards. They're also really advanced. Like I, I didn't realize this until now, but they're really advanced toddlers. So they're all like they're almost they're almost at happy toddler level. They just need to work on their potty and their movement. So they're pretty much there. Like if we wanted to, we could 
we could age them up after they reach that those two right there and i think no john's a little bit behind his brother clayton's a little bit more independent um john is angelic and clayton i think is a charmer so yeah clayton is very much more of a people person so he'll he'll come up and be like teach me this and i love you come hug me all over everywhere but john is was more likely to stay quiet um but that just means that they they actually like pay attention to both of them which is good so we're gonna have these guys put this food away and then we're gonna have to get where is lucian <gasps> they're playing around Ooh, let's hope they don't get caught <laughs> sleep goodbye so these guys are hanging around hanging out she's leaving wake up man is she actually gonna sleep sleep she's sleeping sleeping <laughs> tell her to leave say bye wake up and tell her to leave she can't stay here like I know you like her bro but she can't like actually like shack up that would be an issue we would have problems if she decided to stay here like ask her to leave see is like is your mom gonna come pick you up in a car yeah they'll be here in a minute cool and just tell her, okay, well, it's kind of time for you to go because I don't want my parents getting upset with me for you still being here. And Diana, ever the little dutiful student, is actually working on her extra credit. Currently, they're on like a mini break, and I'm saying that they have like, they, well, they were on a mini break. We actually need to make him do his homework. Um, and let's do homework after he finishes cleaning up everything so he's just gonna clean up all of the dirty dishes which his sister did last time which is fine um, and we have to move back his um, back back his DJ booth there we go so he can continue to do amazing things but yeah, he's I, I mean, he's getting better. He's getting a lot better with his DJing skill. And I think eventually he's going to be, we're going to move him. I'm not sure if we're going to move him into like Brindleton Bay as well. Or if we're going to move him into um, maybe like a neighboring town. Maybe we're going to say Brindleton Bay and Windenburg are close. Or if he's going to stay in Newland Hills and like work on like getting a small apartment or if he's gonna move to the city so he can work on his like DJing and like go, go to a lot of the like underground clubs in um in San Maishino maybe that's where he's gonna go just because he's like because of how like he has like I'm trying to figure out where is his ro road to fame if you guys haven't checked out the road to fame mod you guys definitely should so he has a good amount of fame actually right now I think he has a million Instagram followers according to the mod and then so he has like a basic level of fame so people notice him occasionally and they'll like recognize him and then when he has meetups they'll like talk to him but other than that he's not like super big yet but I think as, as he grows as his like popularity will grow as like after especially after high school because he's not allowed to do too many too many gigs most of the gigs he's done are like house parties most of the fame he's been got been getting has been online and based off of like um the fact that he puts his music up online and his mixes online but i don't think he's get, gotten actual like fame from doing shows and stuff which i think won't come until later but i do think he has the ability to like actually be really popular which i'm i'm proud of him for and we're gonna get diana she actually has like, a couple things here we're gonna get her to tend her garden before school it's early in the morning she has really great grades um the only thing we want to make sure we get is she's in line for responsibility we want to make sure she gets up on her emotional control so we might have to get her to work on her is she is her does she have a diary she does have a diary i just don't know where it is open is this it there it is can i put it down oh gosh okay can i put it down 
Why can't I put it down? Um, let's have her write in journal too. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. But we're just going to get her to take care of her plants. She's just going to tend her garden. She has a couple good plants that I think once she moves out, she'll take some cuttings. She'll take um, some fruits and things. And she'll take them with her when they move to Brindleton Bay. And she'll start her own little garden. So she has like a normal peach tree. She has plantains. She has strawberries, grapes, some daisies, some strap snapdragons. Um, some, some chrysanthemums. Once she gets a little bit higher in her gardening skill, I think she's at gardening seven. So when she's a little bit higher, I think maybe eight or so, or we're going to say she's going to start reading some books about grafting. She might start grafting some of her plants together and then she'll start getting things like the, um, dragon fruit and the pomegranates and things like that. Um, but I think the extension of this challenge, like what I'm saying is like her going to move on to like a, basically a rundown farm with rain is going to be the Siri pixel biologist cow plant challenge. It's going to basically be a variation of that. So instead of it being, I'm not, it's not going to necessarily be within the time frame that Siri had her challenge be, which was within a like 24 days, like a whole sim month, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like a month or something, but it's it was like 24 days or like 30 in-game days or 24 in-game days um, where you have to grow a bunch of cow plants and um, and like basically fix an entire farm. I think we're going to basically do a, ch a change on that because we're not really going to have like a time frame on it. We're going to say that Diana is going to work on the like basics of the challenge when it comes to like setting up a garden and using the money that they build to kind of using the money that they make to like fix up the farm and then rain is going to be working on her veterinary skill and she's going to be like adopting a bunch of animals and treating them in in the barn and taking care of them and like and basically like adopting them out and selling them so that they can make some more money and using some of their animals to help them make money that type of thing so i think that will be a really fun challenge um and i also have a beast tamer challenge that i'm thinking about doing um Truthfully, I'm not sure if I'm going to, I might just post the Beast Tamer Challenge and it'll be like a separate thing, but that's also, but I think this will actually be our main series for cats and dogs that I think would be really fun. Um, but I'm trying to make sure I get this out as quickly as possible because I know that, um, I'm a little bit behind the curve when it comes to recording for cats and dogs. And I was like a little bit behind just because the, um, the game came out on a weekend where I was super busy, so I didn't really have ch enough time to like record all of this gameplay where we were getting through the like kids going through high school, going through their last year of high school, all the drama that's probably going to happen now that we're trying to figure out because I think there's probably something's going to happen with like Lucian and Leyland because he's a serial romantic, so he doesn't really want to be tied down. Um, let's see, where's quick meal? We're gonna treat him again with orange juice. So get some orange juice, bud. Um, but I think this is where we're gonna end this part right here, you guys. Just because we've done a lot. We had our small get together. We were able to see how everybody was interacting. It looks like everyone had a little bit of fun with their costumes. I'm actually very happy about that. I loved their costumes so much. They looked super cute. Um, eventually, closer to the end, before the kids age up into ad young adults, I think we're going to end up having um, these guys have like a formal wedding. And I'm not sure where. Maybe we'll have it somewhere in here. Um, I think there's like an arch. Yeah, there's a, there's a wedding arch here. So they could, we could, they could have their wedding over here, maybe, which would be really cute. Um, and next time, I'll probably clean up the area from... Um, clean up the area from all of the like <laughs> spooky day stuff so we'll get all the pumpkins and stuff out and hopefully we'll be able to start working on some of the new experts of the series like maybe um, Diana will try like putting the moves on rain and see what happens and maybe Lucian will end up 
um, talking it, trying to figure out what to do about Leyland and if there are any other girls that pique his interest. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. If you in really enjoyed it, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Sun rays.